I'm here to visit Kevin Fryer. He's a harpsichord maker here in San Francisco. And this looks like the place. Come on, let's go on in. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Sisto. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. What are you doing today? Well, I'm working on this new harpsichord. This harpsichord's been playing for about a week, and today I'm adjusting all the springs so that, um, so that the quills uh, go back underneath the string. I'm getting rid of the hangers, as we call it. No. What, uh, is, what's this instrument, instrument based on? Well, this instrument is uh, what we would call a Flemish double manual, although the second keyboard's not in at the moment. The second keyboard is back on my bench. I'm working on it there. Um, uh, this is based on the work of Johannes Rueckers, uh, after an instrument that he built in 1624, which is currently in a museum in Colmar. So we, we often call this the Colmar Rueckers. Um, and Johannes Rueckers was... Um, was part of the golden age of harpsichord building in Antwerp in the 17th century. Ooh, cool. Well, it sure is a pretty instrument. Well, thank you. You mind if I take a look around? Help yourself. Thank you. Hmm, the raw materials for making harpsichords. Oops, I better not touch that. That must be the missing keyboard. Surgeons to all. And the warmest spot in the shop. Safety first. Those look like jacks and a miniature table saw. What's under here? Oh wow. It looks like it's being painted. And a harpsichord in its infancy. Soundboard, looks like. Wow, this instrument's really coming along. <laughs> 